Welcome to What God Can Do Ministries. Uh, something I want to talk about is spiritual warfare. It's noticeable that so many people go to 2 Corinthians and uh, verse 3 of chapter 10 says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having all readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is full, fulfilled. One of the things is that most noticeable in the scripture is that you cast down imaginations, that's reasonings. Strongholds of Satan are in the mind. They're not some spirit up above. It's in your mind. And the enemy of our souls captures us when he puts lies in our mind. The only thing the enemy of our lives can do is to invade our imagination and our reasonings with false concepts and false ideas and the lies of the devil and the spirit of the world. And the Holy Spirit has come to pull down those strongholds. Now they're in my imagination, they're in my mind, and God has said himself. And the way it's done is by the preaching of the gospel. In Romans chapter 1 it says, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. And so many people are standing up and saying, I pull down this, I pull down that, I decree, I disannul everything that Satan's doing in my life. I disannul. Listen, it's in your mind. You need to understand you've got to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and his word. We're not here to stand up and make declarations that God has never spoken. You haven't the authority to stop Satan doing what he's doing because you remember when Job was confronted Satan had to go and ask permission of God Satan isn't a free agent Satan is a fallen angel and God has authority over him there's no way if we're in Christ and we walk in Christ my Bible says in 1 John 5 whosoever is born of God keepeth himself and that wicked one toucheth him not. What do we keep? We keep our minds and our hearts from going the wrong way. Now, there, there's so many people that are almost worshipping the devil by ascribing to him power. Now, the devil's a teeny, weeny, weeny little thing, and we have an almighty God who encompasses all things. Satan isn't omnipresent. I find people come to me and they say, oh, Satan said this, Satan said that. In fact, Satan's talking to them all the time, according to them. Not at all. It's wrong thinking, wrong in the mind. My Bible says that if we keep his commandments, if we follow his word, then we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. It's dependent on me continuing in his word, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. That is the warfare in your imaginations and in your mind. And he captures whole nations with lies. He captures whole people with deception. Now, the Holy Spirit has come to break those deceptions and it takes God's power to do it in our minds and in our hearts. So let us realize that it is the gospel that is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. God bless you. God keep you.